Well, look, we want to talk or a minute a bit for a minute with Amanda Grace, King 5 News anchor. You've been working on a big series and yes. we're here to talk about it. This is so awesome. It's called Priced Out and I know that you pitched this. Yeah. Why? Why was it so important for you? So it seems like as an anchor, every day we're covering some big story about our crazy housing market or maybe, you know, rents skyrocketing again. And when we talk about the people being impacted, we're often talking about the extremes. We're talking about the homelessness crisis, people who are really, really hurting. But you know what? I found out that it seems almost everybody's hurting. Mm -hmm. Everybody's got a story here. So I sought out to find people who would consider themselves in the middle, who have jobs, who probably have solid housing, and who are really feeling the pain of just this extreme rise in the cost of living. And I met Amy, and Amy on paper has everything going for her. She works in tech, she owns her own home, she's a super talented artist, and here's Amy. in front of my current home, 1921 Craftsman, old world charm aplenty, stained glass windows inside my father made. It's a beautiful house. It's, it's the American dream. It's what everyone wants right now and can't get in Seattle. And I've got it, barely. And you have three stories that you file for this series, right? And that's right. So Amy's is the first one. You're going okay. to be hearing from her tonight. Uh, so she is a homeowner. And, you know, I said to her, renters would look at you and say, you're so lucky. Right. You own your home. Yes. And she says, you know what? It's not that simple. She almost feels trapped in this home. She says, it's a beautiful home, but I feel like if I sold it, I can never get back into the real estate market because it keeps going up and up and up and up. And I could never afford to rent because rents are just crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so she really feels like she's just got to keep up. Yeah. And she's dealing with the rising property taxes and maintenance mm -hmm. costs, yeah. and she's a single woman, so mm -hmm. uh, trying to do this all on her own, and, and it's really tough. Yeah. What surprised you the most about when you finished doing the story? Mm -hmm. What did you come away with that surprised you? So when I went into this series, I thought this was solely going to be financial, that people's worries were just going to be about the money. But in all the people that I spoke with, it wasn't just about the money. People were really concerned about this city changing, that this growth we're going through, it, it's not just affordability, that at its core, this city is somehow fundamentally changing. And here's what Amy had to say about that. Do you think the character of the city, sort of at its core, has changed? I do, definitely. It has. I, I think most Seattleites and natives that you would talk to would agree. That's not to place blame on new people coming here that just haven't adjusted to what Seattle is. I just think that there's a lot of pressure that comes with living here. We are all so stressed at how this has changed so rapidly. So you're going to hear much more of Amy's story tonight on King 5 News at 7 o'clock and on Kong at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock. And we know that everybody's got a story here and we really do want to hear from everybody out there. I mean, this is not just a Seattle story. This is affecting all of Western Washington. So the email address is priced out at king5.com. Please share, share your story, what you're going through. We would love to hear that. You know, we've yeah. done like some renting stories before. I mean, mm -hmm. we've talked about the housing market mm -hmm. on the show and like so many people, I mean, across the board, it's, I think it's a great equalizer. You know, it doesn't matter where you work or what you do or, you know, what your situation is. Everyone is struggling with housing. Yeah. yeah. Rents have gone up 42% in the last five years, wow. the largest increase in the entire country. Wow. No other city in this country has been dealing with what Seattle's been dealing with. It's incredible. Yeah. Okay, look forward to your yeah, series. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, guys.